Hi guys, Paul here from Melbourne Performance Coaching and the Complete Personal Training Podcast. Today's episode is going to be about celebrating your wins and also your clients' wins. So I had a student message me the other day thanking me uh, for the improvements that he's seen in his business and the results he, his clients have gotten. He's been on my mentorship program for a while and he wrote me this message basically to the end of saying, hey man, just wanted to let you know my clients are getting better results than they ever have, uh, pain's gone down, etc., etc." Uh, I've added a few more clients to my business. He said the specific number, but I'm not gonna go into it today. He said, it may not sound like much, but it's the busiest my business has ever been and it's the most, you know, the most success I've ever had. And it was, that, that part struck me um, because as PTs and people in general, we tend to downplay our wins for what they really are. So let's just say for an example, this person was charging $100 a week for two semi-private training sessions a week. This isn't his rate, but this is a very realistic rate for PT. And he's added three clients to that. That's $100 a week uh, times three, that's 300 times that by 52. You've got you know a fairly significant chunk of money, $15,000 extra coming into your account each year if you happen to maintain those clients. And if you take into account referrals, uh, you take into account you know, increasing sessions, for example, it can end up being a very lucrative way to build a business. All my business comes from referrals for PT. I do absolutely zero advertising for training clients. Haven't for a very, very long time. Actually, I don't think I have since the gym shut down. I haven't advertised once. And I, I get clients coming to me, which is awesome. So if I get one client signing up a week, I'm stoked because that's gonna add at least a minimum, say a minimum $100 a week, $5,000 a year. If I do that every week, that's a huge win in terms of financially and also a sustainable way to grow your business. We need to do apply the same type of process to our clients. So if our client has a small win, we need to celebrate it with them to make sure that they feel good about the process. Now, these small wins don't have to be 500 grams off the scale or a kilo off the scale. It could be not binging on the pizza when it was there. It could be someone with a history of eating disorders, for example, and you know bulimia, etc., eating ice cream and not feeling guilty about it. So the way that our clients can get wins, the way that our business can get wins, can be very, very different and very, very profoundly celebrated when we actually identify where they are. So what do we do with this uh, concept now? We wanna look at our weekly tally at the end of the week. You know, What do we do well? What could we do better? What do we need to stop doing? Uh, I use a method called start, stop, continue with my students. Now, if we've had a really good week and we've signed up two clients, that's fantastic. That's something that's absolutely worth being celebrated. If we, our clients have a really good week and but it hasn't come in the form that they necessarily like. So they may have, for example, their main goal is weight loss. They haven't lost weight this week because weight loss is never a linear process. But what's happened instead is that, you know, they've increased their squat uh, PB, they hit a deadlift PB, and they had their best week like, relationship with food ever. These are all things to be celebrated and things that can be improved upon. So what I challenge you to do now is when you're working with your own business and working with your clients, try and find the small successes that they have, celebrate them just like it's someone signing up 10 new clients and you'll find that people will be much more motivated, you'll be much more motivated and you'll be able to keep moving your business and your clients' results forwards. Thanks heaps guys. Uh, reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook, Meldrum Performance Coaching. Any questions, love to answer them. Speak soon.